Yeah, I thought we played hard for a long time. They're an experienced ball club that's battle-tested. They were at home. I thought they brought great energy. I thought we brought great energy. I thought it was a great football game for a long time with a lot of hard hitting. We're just not very good on offense right now, and ultimately that's what it came down to. I thought we played pretty dang good on D for a long time. In the kicking game, we did some good things. We had some penalties that was uncharacteristic of us that brought some good returns back. Uh, you know, I thought they did a good job of scheming up some explosive plays in their passing game to get some chunk yardage. Uh, but all in all, we just we just didn't make the plays offensively. You know, they did credit to them. Uh, they, they they ran the defense they run all year, and uh, we we just did not play very well offense. That's on me as the head coach and in charge of the offense. We've got to get better. Uh, you know, it's not an excuse. We're playing a young quarterback. He's got to get better. We got to get better around him. But all in all, we just you know I thought thought they played better in all three phases. We played pretty good in two phases. With that all over it up. Just coming into this game, you know, uh, the strength of Troy's defense, but, you know, what do you think they were able to do to stop the run game? Well, we just, you know, we, we popped some runs there in the first half and didn't uh, – didn't uh, get got one called back on a penalty. And uh, every time we got something going, they forced a turnover or we turned it over, however you want to look at it. You know, as far as the run game, we didn't try to run it very much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we were, we were, you know, they, they field blitzed a lot. We were in two by two sets. They rolled to an extra guy in the box. We were in three by one sets, and so we went to the air. We had some things there. Uh, we didn't didn't execute as good as we would like, and we've got to get a lot better quickly offensively. Coach Zach, kind of went through some growing pains tonight. What yep. kind of conversations did you have with him throughout the game? Uh, you know, we got to learn from this. You know what I mean? we got to learn from this. He's going to watch this tape and see that he had some things there. He made some plays early. I thought it was unfortunate that, you know, his first two picks were tough. One very well could have been a pass interference. It was really tough. But that weighs on you as a quarterback. we got to put that behind us. And the second one was a really tough deal on him as well. And I think it, he maybe let that get to him because the next two pass plays, we had two people wide open, one in the flat, Cole Cavallo, the next one a curl, and he missed high both times. And so he's got to learn from that, right? And play one play at a time, and he will. He's a great kid with a lot of talent that is improving. And uh, and, and he's got to learn to to, to to put a bad play behind him and uh, and go go on to the next. Well, with, when you have, you know, the progress offensively that you've had the last few games and you have a game like this, I mean, how do you take that? I mean, what's, what's the next step for you coaching one? I mean, we had some progress, but you know, David, if you look at the stats, they're very similar. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the turnovers, right. you know what I'm saying? Like we're just not producing a whole lot right there. And uh, that's on me. We knew we were going to be a team that was young offensively, that our defensive special teams had to carry us. And we had, but we got to be able to make enough plays and not turn the football over. The disappointing thing tonight was we turned it over. It put us into some hard situations. And then we had some things there that we felt like we just really, really poorly executed. You know, we had some second mediums and we early in the game we had a second medium I think on the second drive we run a boot a, a bootleg and we don't get the defensive end block and he sacks us you know right there we're going to hit a guy in the flat for the first down little things like that we're just not doing well enough and that ultimately is on me the, the, the turnovers now you touched on it I mean I guess in the second half there it seemed like you know, maybe it came on blue a little bit. Uh, did, you, did you feel that way? Or, or? I just think it. I just think it was a consistent over time. You know, you know, at some point we've got to move the ball and score. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you don't, like, there's only so many times. Like we got, if we move it and score and make it 17 to 17, well, when they drive and score, it's just 24 17. It's no big deal. But when it gets to be a two score game and a three score game, the game changes. You know what I mean? I thought our inability to score. Credit to Troy and Coach Summerall in their program. But our inability to score was ultimately uh, the, the, the difference in the game. Coach, things got pretty chippy there at the end. Could you just talk about how that thing ended? Yeah, that's unfortunate. You know, uh, we, we've got to control what we can control. We're better than that. We're not that program. We're not a highly penalized program. We don't do those things. Uh, we'll see it on tape and see what it was. Ultimately, though, no matter what our circumstances are, we control our response. And, uh, you know, so whatever we did to cause that, it'll be addressed. It'll be addressed quickly with accountability and honesty. And because uh, and we don't, well, that's not what we do. Coach, it seemed like Brown was getting a lot of the receptions tonight. He had nine of 10, I think, going into the second half. Uh, is that just a testament just to the youngness of Wilkie not being able to 
distribute the ball or just the defense? No, I think that was play calls by me with what they were doing. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you would say, well, why are they letting Brownlee catch it? But it was all underneath stuff. They weren't going to let Brownlee get over the top, mm -hmm. which was a credit smart by them. So there was a lot of underneath hitches and slants that they were giving us because they were taking the run away, but also not letting us create a big play. So we were able to get Brownlee a lot of touches underneath. We were able to get it out to Frog once. And uh, we had some more things there that we would have liked to have hit. And uh, but but we weren't able to do it, and uh, but no, it's it good to get him the ball. When when they take away those explosive plays, is it difficult to ask a freshman quarterback to execute repeatedly? You know, un underneath. Um, yeah, it is. You know, consistent. You know, smart game plan by them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's consistent driving the ball is hard to do at any level, even in the NFL. You know, you watch that Thursday night game the other night. You didn't see it in that one either. You know, so uh, that's what we got to get better at. You know what I'm saying is when we have to consistently move the football and go play after play after play, we, like I said, we'll get to second and four, and then we'll have a play where we don't execute the right way and bust, and then it's third and nine. You know, we've got to eliminate those plays because we have some good burst in there, but then we have a disastrous play that holds us back. And, uh, and that, again, that is on me. All right, I have got to do a better job of getting that corrected. It's got to happen soon. And the big, cool. When it comes to pre-snap reads and stuff, uh, a lot of blitzes came through free, especially early in the game. Uh, how much is that the offensive line? How much of that is just rookies? I don't think a lot of them came free that weren't empty protection and things like that. Like I said, we booted out once and didn't block it correctly, but from a drop back pass perspective, I thought we had it up correctly for most of the night. We'll have to see it on tape to make sure. But I never felt like I never felt like we weren't had it up and blocking things correctly. I felt like sometimes our eyes wasn't right, we weren't getting it out in the, in the proper manner. It seemed like towards the beginning of the game, Troy was having a lot of success throwing the ball over the middle of the field. Is that just a testament just to the linebackers you've lost, or is that just scheme? No, I think we were heating them up, putting some pressure on them, getting some sacks. And when you do that, they're gonna they're gonna get some yards. We talk all the time; they're gonna get yards. We got to keep them from getting points. And ultimately, I thought that's what we did. You know, all the way through three quarters, and then it just got to be a situation where we kept we turned it over again and again, and gave them short field, and they finally made the play. You know what I mean to kind of break our back right there. But uh, you know, they're gonna get yards. They're a good football team. You're gonna give up yards, but it's about not giving up points. If it's just like. Then, you know, they gave up some yards to us early on in the first two drives. They didn't give up points. What – you've mentioned getting these things, these little things corrected a few times. What what gives you faith that they can be corrected? Because I've done it before. You know what I mean? This is my third time building a program. It's my third time. We've been really good on offense everywhere we've been, where I've come from. Uh, we knew that we were going to be playing a freshman quarterback this year, uh, whether it was Ty or Zach. We knew that we were going to be playing a lot of young guys uh, outside of Brownlee and Dulce, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, right there, we got a few other old linemen that have played some minutes, but, you know, Frogs do. Cashton hadn't played a lot, you know, and uh, outside of Frank, we hadn't played a lot, you know, those running backs. So we knew there was going to be a building process. But that's no excuse for what happened tonight. We've got to be better in game five than what we were tonight, and that's on me. Uh, to touch on a positive, it seemed like the front seven was able to consistently get into you know, Jared Davis' pocket throughout the night. Yeah, I thought, like I said, I thought defensively, I thought we had good pressures. I thought, I thought we kept us in the game for a long time until the turnovers mounted and the short field happened, and then the, it just kind of, it kind of snowballed there at the end. But I thought we played good enough defensively early to keep us in it, and. Uh, We've got to get better offensively, and then we've got to have a play in the kicking game or a play defensively while we're getting better offensively to get us over that hump. Like we had at Tulane, you know what I mean? We just didn't get that tonight and uh, from any of the three phases. But I do, I thought we played good enough in the kicking game and on D, we've got to get better offensively. Anything else? Coach, thank you. All right, appreciate you guys. Thank you.